This year's FIFA 2023 Women's World Cup has transcended the pitches of Australia and New Zealand and into the spirits of young athletes in Qatar. Outside the thrilling matches and nail-biting moments that have captured viewership records worldwide, the increased attention on this year's World Cup has inspired Qatar footballers to see the game in a different light. In 2015, the average viewership for the Women's World Cup lays at a measly 8.39 million. Years later, in 2019, this propelled to a massive 1.1 billion, and this year's edition of the tournament is expected to smash that record. Here in Qatar, footballer Dana Hayek grew up in a sport that was and still is dominated by males. But she said the current heightened efforts to cast the spotlight on women-led tournaments is a step towards breaking a long-run cycle of underrepresentation. She said, as a footballer myself, it's heartening to witness these changes. It signifies progress towards a more inclusive and balanced world of sports. The issue was spotlighted earlier this year after FIFA threatened a blackout when global broadcasters failed to place suitable offers to media rights for the tournament. FIFA president Gianni Infantino was clearly disappointed. He said broadcasters pay $100 to $200 million for the men's FIFA World Cup, but they offer only $1 to $10 million for the FIFA Women's World Cup. Because of that, the football governing body agreed a deal with the European Broadcasting Union to televise the tournament in five major European countries. Similar to Hayek, Local footballers in Qatar have also spoken about the benefits of the Women's World Cup. One striker who plays in the local league told Doha News that the tournament is a weapon against gender stereotypes. It challenges the outdated belief that football is a man's game. In Qatar at least, the tournament could be making a ripple effect with reported plans to boost the national women's team's presence at regional and global competitions.